Rheology is the study of a material's flow behavior under applied deformation forces. What the heck does that mean? Let's find out. So here are some of the topics that will be covered in our course on rheology. Rheology plays an important role in a wide array of industries, including paints, inks, adhesives, personal care products, cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, just about everything. No, not just about everything, everything. We'll explore different types of viscosity and rheology profiles on a variety of products like honey, water, shampoo, ketchup, toothpaste, even silly putty. It's important to appreciate the essential elements of rheology, how molecules interact with each other to form a network, the influence of stress, temperature, or time. Then we'll examine various deformation forces, including tension, compression, torque, and shear. Sir Isaac Newton was a genius widely recognized as one of the most influential scientists of all time. We're going to examine the derivation of his law of viscosity using a simple two-plate model. We can apply Newton's law of viscosity on a variety of liquids, such as water or honey, whether they flow between plates or through pipes. Then we'll study rheology profiles like Newtonian ideal liquids whose viscosity doesn't change at any shear rate. Or pseudoplastic, liquids whose viscosity drops with shear stress. Or dilatant, liquids whose viscosity actually rises with shear, somewhat counterintuitive. And finally, thixotropic, liquids whose viscosity is affected by both shear stress and time. Of course, we'll get into the chemistry to better understand how rheological agents actually work. And we'll examine how different chemistries achieve different rheological properties. All this and more with our course on rheology.